This is Truly Outrageous, I'm Neil, and today we are drawing an octopus. But not just any octopus, the blue ringed octopus. So this is a drawing you're definitely gonna glub. Oh. What? The creature lives under the sea and there's bubbles and they go glub glub glub. You didn't think that was funny? No. Please, don't ever do that again. Okay, fine. Whatever you say. Be boring. Well, before we get into our drawing, a couple of things. If you don't know already, we are posting brand new videos to the channel here every Monday and Thursday. So be sure to take a quick second, go down below, click that subscribe button so you're not missing a single one. And by doing that, you'll be helping us meet our April goal of 1,200 subscribers. And while you're down there, smash that like button. One more thing, I wanna hear from you guys. What would you guys like me to draw? What do you like about the channel? What do you not like about the channel? So take a quick second, go down below while you're hitting that subscribe button and the like button and leave a comment for me. All right, enough of that. Get your tentacles ready. Really? And let's draw a blue ringed octopus. All right, let's go ahead and get started on our drawing of the blue ringed octopus. So for this one, you're going to need a piece of paper. You're going to need your drawing utensil. It can be a marker like I'm using here, or it can be whatever is most comfortable for you. Got some fuzz on my paper. And then when we get to the coloring step, this is the color palette that I'm gonna be using to color in the blue ringed octopus. Also, one more thing, very important. If I'm going too fast throughout this video, feel free to push that pause button or rewind. I want you guys to be as comfortable as you can be and have lots of fun while you're drawing. Okay, first step. You're gonna come down here and you're gonna draw a curve. So that's gonna start here. It's gonna curve up like this and stop right there. Then you're gonna draw a little bit of an angle out this way like that, just a small little line like that. And then you're going to come down like this and out like this. Okay, next we are going to draw a straighter line and then a curve to represent the top of the head. So it's gonna come out like this. And then we're gonna curve that line over like this and down like this. And the blue ring octopus has like a little point on the end of their head. So it's gonna curve out like that. Okay, next we're gonna draw the octopus's eye. And it's just kind of a circle. Actually, it is a circle. It's not kind of a circle, it is a circle. So we're gonna start right here and we're gonna draw that circle going all the way around. It's a pretty big eyeball. Just like that. And then inside the eyeball, we will draw the octopus's pupil. And the cool thing about the pupil is it's different. It's a like a rectangular shaped pupil. So we'll draw a line like this and then draw a curved line, slight curve, like this. Then down again, straight like that. And then we'll curve again like that. And then we'll color it in, making sure that we what? Leave some white space for the light indication. Then we're gonna draw some indication lines just to indicate where the eye socket is on the octopus because it's pretty prominent. So we're gonna start here. We're gonna draw one line like this. And then we'll draw another line down here like this. Then we're gonna do the bottom end of the head. So we'll start here and we're gonna curve a line down like this. Get that going across all the way up into here like this. And then there's just gonna be a curved top like that. Next, we're gonna draw the back end of the octopus. And that's just a simple curved line down right here and you want to make sure that these guys kind of line up all right now it's time to move on to my favorite part the tentacles so we're going to start right here on this line and we're going to pull a line all the way up it's going to be really curvy and around like that I'm just going to make my line a little darker there then we'll draw the other side of the tentacle there we're just gonna kind of mirror that curve, go all the way around, down, and then like that. Okay, then we're gonna do another tentacle over here, and I'm going to draw right here, 
because the way that we're looking at this is we're looking at it from the bottom. So I'm gonna curve line up like this, over, around, and down like this. Then I'm gonna pull a curve line up to here and I'm gonna stop. Then I'm gonna curve a line down from here all the way to about here, because this is kind of where it connects to the body. And then I will pull a line off of here and curve it up into the tentacle that I created there, just as a way to represent the bottom of the tentacle. Next, we're gonna draw the rear tentacles. So we're going to draw a curvy line out like this of an S shape with a curve up like this. Then we're going to bring that line back around and in here. Curve that line over some more and back into there like that. Then we'll draw another one over here. We're going to draw a line here. Leave that little space open there because it's going to give a, an indication that it's in the background. And then we're going to draw another set of curvy lines like this. Then I'm gonna pull that line around again like this. It's gonna bump up against that other tentacle. And then we're gonna pull that line, kind of mirroring this other curve that we did here. Up, over and in. Then we'll add another background tentacle over here. So we're gonna curve a line up this direction going to stop there. We're going to pretend that that line goes all the way through that original tentacle. Then we're going to pull a curve line off of there. This time I'm going to curve it the other direction. Then we'll do the same thing that we did over here with these other tentacles. We're going to pull the line backwards, mirroring our first curves there. And this one is going to connect there. Next, we'll draw another background tentacle. So this one is going to come up like this, out and around, down like this, and back the other way like we did before, like that. Then we're gonna draw two more. One that you can barely see over here. It's gonna come out and over and down like this, and back in like that. And then back here, another one's gonna come out like this. And I think we're just gonna mirror that other one. Just curve that line up like that. Twist it around like that. And then we're gonna bring that line back around like we always do with tentacles. And I'm actually just gonna leave that there. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tentacles. Okay, cool, so we got enough tentacles. Next, we're gonna draw some suction cups. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start here in the middle just to give you guys an indication of what they look like and then I'll speed it up. So we're gonna do some circles right here. One, two, and then we're gonna put something in the middle. We'll just go one, two, just like that. And we're just gonna carry those down this way and back up this way too. All right, next we're gonna do some suction cups on this tentacle here, but we're gonna give the side view. So what you're gonna to do to indicate those is you're gonna draw some dashes here. All the way around like this. And I'm gonna speed this up and then we'll come back for the next step. So what you're gonna to do to make these suction cups look like they are suction cups <laughs> is you're going to come up to the line here and you're gonna do some inverted curves. So just curve in like that curve in like that. And you're just gonna keep these going all the way around the tentacle. And I'm gonna speed this up. Okay, you can see I had a couple more uh, suction cups on this tentacle here, just to give it a little bit more detail. Okay, so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some spiky details because on the side of the Blue Ring Octopus head, it has uh, some spikes on it. So, what you're gonna do is you're going to draw a diagonal line like this, and then a straighter line in like that. Diagonal line like this, straighter line like that. Diagonal line like this, straighter line like that. 
keep those going all the way across. All right, and last but not least, we are going to add, guess what? The blue rings. Well, they'll be black rings right now, and then when we get to the coloring step, then they'll be blue. All right, so what you're gonna do is just draw some organic uh, shapes. So I'll show you what I mean. You're gonna come out like this, just make some wavy lines, because they're not perfect circles on the octopus. Just maybe some over here. And just keep this going all the way throughout your octopus and on the tentacles too. All right, and there's your line work for your blue ringed octopus. And now it's time for the gratuitous, cringeworthy, slightly annoying dad joke. Okay, what do a tick and the Eiffel Tower have in common? They're both Paris sites. All right, let's move on to our coloring step, and we'll do that in super speed, starting now. All right, there you have it, your fully colored blue ring octopus. I hope you guys had lots of fun drawing this. I know I did. Don't forget to go down below and subscribe to the channel. Remember, we're trying to reach 1,200 subscribers by the end of April. Don't forget to spread the word about Truly Outrageous and let everybody know how much fun you have in here drawing on the channel. And don't forget to have a great day wherever it is you are. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.